Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evelyn Stream here. Here we are something for a bit different on this channel, we're playing on F1 Manager 24. I'll be using the new Create a Team Mode. Yes, as you see there, I did have a little test round on this game and that. Because I was aware of a few issues and that here and there, but... Here and there, that's all been solved, just tested on some bugs and that, but I was reporting out in the community and that. But without further ado, let's get cracking on and create our brand new F1 team. Formula One, a new season and a new dawn. As a brand new team lines up on the grid, that means an even harder challenge to secure that coveted championship silverware. As the on-track action is turned right up to 11. We're ready for excitement ahead as the teams return to the drawing board in the battle to end Red Bull's dominance they'll need to balance their aspirations for high performance with the risk of pushing too far and inviting catastrophic failures out on the track. With many drivers on the last year of their contracts, team principals will need to ensure that they're kept in the right mindset across the whole season, as well as managing sponsor demands and protecting their most valuable assets from the prying eyes of their rivals. As a new competitor enters the fray, Anything is possible. This is Formula One. After that intro, so yeah, we are P1 Extreme Racing, Extreme as in Envoy Extreme, and P1 because we're going to be using a special delivery here. So yeah, we're going to go things up already. So yeah, number one. And uh, for our sort of how we're going to go about this is case of we start with a lot of money, a lot of facilities. But our car is absolutely garbage, so we need to work our way from the bottom to the top of the car. And um, when it comes to our drivers, we've got Oscar PS3, so I want a sort of a semi experienced F1 driver, along with a F1 rookie, and I'm thinking of other better than that because we can be powered by Ferrari in that, and you know, we can be like Ferrari's what, third team in that. And for our staff in that, Nothing really special to say about these, I just pretty much picked the default ones you can pick out, so yeah, you can select different ratings and that, so I just went midfield I did, so went with Neil Holdsley for our, what's that, technical chief, Murphy for our head of aero, Julian Rose, Rose for our sport director, and then Ben Michael and Tom Sallard as our race engineers. Actually, if I swap that then, yeah, PS3 will be repaired with standard, standard. But anyway, so yeah, powertrain that, Ferrari in that, yeah, Renault in that, yeah, very fuel efficient, Mercedes, very bulletproof in that, and Red Bull the most powerful, but I think Ferrari is the best of the lot. And yeah, so see, we got the P1 with Matt and Tommy in that, podcast in that. So yeah, let's do a bit of a little collaboration in the way of, you know, taking the P1 brand and take it to glory now. So I've then got Oliver Behrman, but also I want to go for, see if we can get Charles Leclerc in our, whether it's going to be our first season or our second season. But yeah, so I don't do the guidance and that, and development and that, and pace is going to be on standard, so... Yeah, not sure how this is going to go for us, but anyways, I think now, do we get a cutscene here where we can see our car and livery on the grid and that? Also, I am on this gen last gen console, so the loading times will be a bit longer in that. But what I'll do is, in post in that, I will cut things out in that, so it just seems a bit more streamlined for you folks. But yeah, see, so you got our P1 brand there, a little swoosh and X, so. Alright, so we've got sponsor negotiations in six days. But I'm thinking. So, yeah, we'll go to our inbox. So, yeah, welcome to P1 Extreme Racing. Yada, yada, yada. So, yeah, we've got Behrman and PS3 onto your contracts. So, yeah, three years for Ben Michael and ten months for Tom Stoddard. We do have some already affiliate drivers. I'm going to sort of, yeah, I think go with some more drivers down the road. But yeah, we're going to need a 
Now, for technical chief, I'll end of the year because, yeah, Holtzley's got a 10 month contract. I think for the assets, so, yeah, towards the end of the season, yeah, maybe we'll secure that earlier than that, but. But yeah, look at our facilities and that, so. Yeah, car process, and so yeah, we're starting off with a very substantial amount of the facilities and that. Scouting that. And maybe I'm not too fussed on that. Team attractiveness and that. Do we want to go with that? How much is going to be? Three and a half mil. I think for now, things like, you know, upgrade the hay pad and that. Tour center and that. Marketability, sure. Hospitality and that. That's involves in sponsors and that. Weather forecast, I think that's pretty good at the moment. Memorabilia, yep, team attractiveness. Let's go with those. So yeah, go to our car now. And I think what we'll do is... Do we just develop a lot of parts straight away in that? So yeah, we can develop up to four parts in that, so... I think we'll do that as to start off with, so... Oh yeah, we haven't got pre-season testing done yet, so where we stand amongst the grids? I do not know, so I think... Let's go with side pod, so... ATR period 15 days left, so... Let me get this all set up. So right, for our side pods and that, so I went with maximum drag reduction. Quite a bit of improvement in energy cooling that, because that is absolutely needed. And then yeah, some little adjustments on the airflow. And I know some people goes with like, you know, either maximum minimum or all the way to the max. See, I'm thinking if we go around this mark here, four to eight races, four to seven. You know what? Let's go with yeah. Cause I want to make this car light as well, but not not stupid like that. So obviously we're doing this in four, so we're gonna do three three and one or two yeah three six nine one or three three two two something like that ah yeah so rush it for securing that so that won't be done before Melbourne so I think might as well for now do rush it half a mil intense no, let's go with Rush Jack, because we'll get us manufactured up for Melbourne and that, so... There we go, that is one leg right down. And... Let me get these other three down, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards. So, right, well, everything filled up, so yeah, we've got chassis on the floor, front wing and side pods on the way, so... Yeah, these are going to be absolute crucial for us, and yeah. With a lot of these, I went two clicks to the left in terms of lifespan, so... Yeah, we do need a lot of manufacturing on the way in that. At the moment, so... So yeah, our car in that is absolute garbage, so... Yeah, absolute garbage at the moment, yep. Yeah. Performance in that, I know that was going to improve over time in that. Like, in terms of my experience playing the F1 Manager games in that, I played a very little bit of F F1 Manager 22. Haven't done 23, and 24... Yeah, obviously, as I mentioned earlier on, as we sort of done the intro in that. Done a little bit of playing around in that, you know, just... Because I was aware of some issues in that, potentially in that, and... Yeah, there were some minor issues in that, and... The most recent update that came out, what, a couple of days ago, I think this was? So yeah, I am recording this on... Monday the 5th of August, or... Sunday the 4th of August in that. But yeah, so anyways... Getting some upgrades coming in that. So yeah, memory room and all that. Sports negotiations. So now this is going to be the crucial one. So we can have upfront cross, uh, upfront funding that. Engagement, so that is through our sponsor activities. And race day is based on performance. So... Ooh. Do we go with Ferro NRG, 8 energy drinks? Or do we go with Lumira Technologies? See now, looking at they do get a lot more money from sports engagements. They are still a bit so not no upfront money from that, but I think yeah, could do some upfront money. I think 
Yeah, you know, I'm just worried about. You know, I think, yeah, we get 51.2 million total funding. And yeah, no effects on our driver, so that is good. And now let's go with the other five optional sponsors we can have. So, alright, so yeah, in terms of our, our sponsors, we went with Hemrick, a Nuska XA, Baturo, Aptro, and Abads, or Abos, whoever. So, yeah, overall, decent money we're getting. There are some effectiveness on our wind tunnel facility, so, you know, our sponsor will come out and they'll have a tour of the wind tunnel facility. So, yeah, I did think about that and I was going to do a thing with the drivers now because that's thing I want is to affect their marketability or mentality or anything like that so yeah have a little overall summary so a guarantee funding of 25.2 mil up front and as we meet all of our sponsor engagement activities so that'll be an additional 41 mil and depending on our race day performance a additional 26.1 mil so you know what I'm going to go with that so yeah, here is our decals and that, so go with our brand in that, so actually I think it's got all of our decals already on it, or not. Where is that to? Ah, that's there, so let me have a little moment, so whilst I go through all of these. So there we go, got our sponsors applied, you know, got the P1X logo on the sleeves. Yeah, I may have to do a slight tweet to that P1 or P1 Extreme racing logo in that, but apart from that, yeah, I am absolutely happy with that. So, yep, sponsor plan that. So, we need to be a engagement of 4,824. So, VIP, factory tour in that, sure, why not? Nothing to do with the drivers. And this is our affiliate drivers, because yeah, the ones we got at the moment, I am not interested in them. School work and that. So yeah, we've just gone over and that, so you know what? I am happy with that. So we meet our mandatory amount of engagement, so that's gonna get us five million in six weeks or right now. Is it five million now or in six weeks? Not sure. Well, yeah, pre-season results is done, and also our facilities are doing that, so... With our 56 mil... Oh, do we go with this again? Marketability, sponsor, bonuses... Yes, please. But yeah, at the moment, I am just going to spend... Or save our money quite a bit. Oh, saying that, do we spend 5 mil on a... Development, so that's going to improve our weak development for our drivers and that. So I think it's worth it. So yeah, it's weekly staff development. So that's not too concerned about scouting. You know what? I'll say I know we're going to do scouting the first of all, but you know what? Screw it. So 50 mil left in that. So. But yeah, do we focus on upgrading the facilities and that? So the difference is what? 12 mil here and there and that doesn't seem to be all that too much now. Yeah, maybe a bit on downforce, but design center and that, so nothing significant there. First things like oh, okay, that yeah, project capacity, so that is for and also the development speed goes up by 12%, so that I'll save for later on. Now maybe we get out later on in the season that. But yeah, hey pad upgrades is all done. But yeah, so obviously our car performance at the moment it is absolute garbage, so pretty much bottom off speed and <laughs> cornering down force, but we got tar preservation and engine cooling on our side so I think when we go into the race weekend as well the first one it sort of semi simulates it for you and that so we can't do you know engine not engine tuning I uh, always want to talk about setups setup adjustments and that because I can get these setups up to around 95 to a hundred percent 
with some guarantees and that, so... Alright, ATR period ends after this weekend and that, so... Alright, strategy and that, so we're looking at a, what, two sopper and that? Obviously, wherever it's going to be drawing that, obviously, and that, so race targets, so... Ooh, look at these bonuses and that, so... Do we play it safe? Or do we do a bit risky in that? I think... Oh, you know what, for now... I'm going to go with down to maximum, so... 20th... And 20th, so... Literally, not need to be in the bottom two. Obviously, once we get our upgrades coming in that, then yeah. We'll be absolutely going for the top now, because we do need the money in that, because yeah. Obviously, cost cap and that, that's one thing we need to be a bit concerned about. But it makes us head into the weekend and see how it all goes. So, F1 is back, ladies and gentlemen, and the grid is set to grow. A new season is upon us as Formula One returns to the Middle East, ready to kick things off here in Bahrain. The change is afoot, the paddock has grown, the grid extended. Yes, that's right, 11 teams, 22 drivers, and the hottest competition motorsport has to offer. There's now a rookie on the McLaren team, which is both an opportunity and a challenge. And Ooh, with McLaren. That, yeah, McLaren, so, yeah, sort of skipping over that. So, yeah, McLaren's got some new. Of course, they're going to have a new driver because we took Piastri in that for them. Alright, so can we please do our setup? So, yep. Let me have a little fiddle around with some of these pre subs and that. So, I'm going to put some a decent default setup down. And then, yeah, we'll go into practice and or qualifying, depending on what the game allows us to. So, right, as a baseline, 4.5 degrees on the front wing, 11 degrees on the rear wing, 6 to 4 ratio for anti roll, 3.35 negative degree for the camper. And a positive 0.35 for the toe out. So that is my standard setup on both. But, all right, actually, you know what? So yeah, for whatever reason, that's why I will sort of have a bit of a fit around with it. We have to go through like a tutorial on that, but looks like we didn't have to do it on this one. So you know what? Let's crack into here. So let's see that P1. Oh yeah, you can tell which ones are pit box now. <laughs> the green light. Yeah, the one in bright purple, so let's send Berman and Piastri out onto the tracks and that. Look at that P1 that. And hopefully someday we will be P1 on the grid, so off the way we go on the track and that, so yeah. Practice is practice that, so rather than bore you with that, let me do all these programs and that and get our setup to around about 95 to 100 percent confidence and then yep and that's where we'll go from there so all right practice has been completed and piastri he has got a 100 percent set confidence and bearman 92 percent currently but i'll make some final tweaks in that just to try to get everything optimal in that fortunately in fp3 in that yeah didn't quite get enough time in got four out of five i see here from the feedback so yeah, I'm just using that as judgement. In terms of our pace now, of course, it's practice so we don't know the fuel loads of our rivals and that. But yeah, we was around P19, P20 and that. Obviously, if you look at the results from practice and that, so... Go into our results and that, so practice, so... I think, yeah, P3 and that did score top spot with Piastri and that. Did a 32-6. But obviously, yeah, don't know the fuel loads now, so Piastri did 25 laps, Behrman did 34. And yeah, I know compared to our rivals, we're doing more laps than that, but at the end of the day, this is a new team, that, new team, new drivers. We need to get a bit of confidence into the car itself, so... But yeah, so without further ado, I very much am going to get out of Q1 that, but anyways, let's manage this session, so... Alright, so in terms with tires and that, so we've got four tires to play with and that, including a script set from practice or something like that. So I think what I'm going to do that for now is put that script set on. 
And yeah, that one, no scrub whatsoever. So, because yes, in practice we did hard and soft, medium then soft, and then medium then soft. So, what do we have a scrub set on Piastri's car in that, or Berem's car in that? This game already screwing us over in that, so. No idea, okay, but anyways. Get, so the track will go green now. Let's send Berman out first of all, Nat. Because out of all of our drivers, Berman is going to be the one that is least likely to get into Q2. Even with Piastri now, he's a good driver now to get Rog 84 rated in that. And Berman, I want to take control. Because yes, I want to warm those tires up. We need a lot of load. And yes, scrubbing. see with Piastri now, so. Aussie where it see it's blue under those hard temps. That is not ideal, so I was gonna suggest reduce a bit lift and coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. But yeah, so Bearman's gonna go on to zap, so let's say attack, maximum push and deploy that. The lift and coast can stop. And it's right on board, so we're gonna have one or two cars come out of pit. How we miss was it? Oh, staking that. Oh, uh, may have just slightly impacted us into the braking zone. But yeah, also before I forget, Piastri. But yeah, so bear in mind that. Aussie, yeah, everyone's on softs and that. Aussie, if we're a top team, that. You no, know, make away with using mediums and that. Of course, everything's going to be green and purple and that, potentially. Obviously, this is just the first runs in that, so let's see how they perform. So, Berman has crossed the line. And what I thought to do is on a 32 0, so not too bad for a first lap, especially on a scrub set of tyres. So, serve and come in. But now, Piastri, can you do anything better than his teammates? Tyres are starting to cook a bit, so. At the moment, it's in the 123. But yeah, can we beat a 0 Already, Sonoda's going a 30.8. That's even for the top drivers. Yeah, heads so Piastri does go ahead. But only by, what, 500 of a second? Not a lot, especially when compared to differences in that. To be honest, I didn't really catch on yep. if Piastri got held up in that by traffic in that. Oh, that's that's it's a downside with Q1, that is obviously traffic and that. Oh, yeah, flags. Nope, that's been cleared up, so... Yeah, now let's prepare and wait for our final laps in Q1. And can we get into Q2 now? First time out. I very much doubt it, but who knows? So, alright, we got just under 2 minutes and 20 seconds left, and we've just had both our cars out. They are a bit bunched up at the moment, but Piastri Piastri's does gone. have the he is driver ahead. Baron does have the symmetry from his teammate Nat, as long as the final engineer shuts up for a minute. But yeah, so I think what we're going to do as before that, take control. And like, fuel Nat, if you run out of fuel, so be it. Leap on the tires oh, the why did you do that, Piastri? Ah, uh, dang it. But yeah, so hopefully you should warm the tires up, so... Alright, we've got a good amount of clean air in that, so... Now let's see if either of our drivers can get into Q2. Again, I very much doubt it, so... Got push, push, that. Reduce the lift of coast. Probably. And so let's wait for the perfect moment, there we go. Use the overtake button. <laughs> There we go, see the Bearman may have done a slight bit later than that, so let's go, so we'll skip ahead. I very much doubt we're gonna do anything about it. Oh green green, oh both drivers have improved. Track has rubbed up, track has gripped up. Can we fight two three tenths of a second to get into Q2? First of all we'll be across the line is Piastri. Piastri gets into Q2! <laughs> wow! We get into Q2 on our first time out in. Oh, as you see, that is so close to our rivals and that. So, Berman and that 
debut night into F1 Nats. Obviously, we're taking over the real life 2024 counter, so obviously Carl Sainz didn't have his appendix removed. <laughs> but yeah, that is an absolute banger. Yeah, Piastri into Q2 Nat. Obviously, we're three temps off from Alonso Nat, and even our rival. Williams now, because our rival this season is going to be Williams, Alpine, and State Kick Sauber F1. Because, yeah, if we get into the realms of, you know, reaching, like, sort of V Carbonat, RB and that by the season, then, yeah, that would be absolute banger now. But, yeah, so Q2 appearance. So, obviously, it turns with set confidence that. Also, yeah, forgot to mention. Richard for sure now is the replacement driver for Piastri in McLaren, so... And... I oh know that is, what, practicing that, but... Yeah, should be interested that. Yeah, in terms of confidence in that, I also didn't know what Baron's confidence is, but hopefully... It is still at least 92%, if not more than that. But yeah, Behrman... 100% confident, so... Yeah, let's go to Q2 now for the first time in that. And I would save softs for the race now, at least one soft, so let's go with a scrub set. So literally, I may do two runs with a scrub set and then, yeah, wait till the end. And yeah, you know, see how we perform that. But at the end of the day, I may just go with two scrub tires now. If we're close enough to an improvement then yeah by means I'll go for it but I very much doubt I'm gonna make any improvements away but who knows. So right we're in Q2 we've just done our second lap on the scrub set of tires and yeah to be honest we're not too far off in that so overall 2.4 seconds off for Sappen so yeah no surprises there. But yeah so far done better than Albon and Magnuson. And yeah, I think, yeah, Sainz had a bit of a rough start in Q2, so let's see if we could see if we can outperform our a Ferrari driver in that. So I'm sure Sainz had a off lap in that, so it's going to be on pace in that, and yep. But yeah, I may not say screw it, let's go out on a brand new set of soft tyres, so for the race we'll have a hard, medium, and one brand new soft tyre, so... Yeah, cause I think it's going to be a strategy of soft, medium, hard snats. But yeah, so don't have much left. Sign snats going to be coming around very soon. So yeah, once again, let's head on to the track. So yeah, we're ahead with a lot of the traffic. So that is going to be absolutely important for us. So yeah, you need to drill, take control on that, and see what we can do. So balance for now for fuel net so uh, yeah, uh, ERS for charge I know thank Perfect. you but I think this time what I'll do is I'll go a bit earlier on fuel net so push now yeah. and I'll to enable you know deploy on ERS just as we get to this gantry ahead of us into the braking zone so yeah, as you come off the throttle, that's it. So yeah. we're deploying the arrest, maximum the arrest net. So yeah, can we improve that? So we'll go to our timing. So at the moment, we shouldn't be hitting any traffic in that. So that's going to be one of a bonus. Or is that a house or something ahead of us? I'm not sure. But yeah, sector one, is that going to be an improvement? It is a green. So yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't show you the delta in that. So. But yeah, we're green in the first sector net. Not too bad driving by Piastri so far. Can we get P14 on the grid in that? So, I mean, I think P14 is a general possibility in that. But yeah, so we're double green now. Holton also had any purple sectors, but as we head to around the final corner net, it's going to be across the line and it's going to be an improvement. Yes, it is by four tenths of a second, but. We don't beat our replacement McLaren driver in that. But yeah, Richard for sure in that. 
out in Q2. That is a shocker for the McLaren rookie. That. But yeah, long route out of us is Hulkenberg, Maxson, Albon, and Tsunoda. So, was it worth burning set tyres? Probably not. But at the end of the day, I shall see where we are with the competition at. This is before we're getting upgrades in, so it's going to be Australia by the time we get upgrades coming in. So, overall, I am impressed. So, if we head down here, so Piastri Nat. 315, 312, improved by 3 temps that from Q1 to Q2, so. But yeah, even then, the 315 Nat. Or even the 316s, or whatever it was, so we've set on these rough scrub tires and that. But yeah, bear, not bear, yeah, bear than that. 317, so. To be fair, no more than a couple of temps behind Piastri Nat, so for a rookie Nat. That ain't too shabby, so. Anyways. Let's head into the race and see where we stand. So, alright, head into the race, and I've got, yeah, we're also getting an extra salt set of sauce for the race. So, yeah, at the moment, yeah, currently recommending a two sopper nat, so soft, soft, medium nat. So, yeah, no mention of the hard nat, so. But, yeah, I want to do a little strategy nat, so. Yeah, strategy nat. Get rid of one, so soft. No, don't do this with mediums. But yeah, that ain't gonna make it, I don't think. 34, 33. Three, there's not much of a new for that there, so if we create that strategy. Looks like the two sopper, regardless of whether we go soft, soft, medium, or. But yeah, we've got no spare medium, so. I think we're gonna to have to do is something like that. So start and soft snap, get ahead in that. But it turns with pit window that. Obviously this is gonna be up to subjection, so pit that 19 to pit for Behrman and Piastri. What we're we saying here, bud. That 19 as well, so who knows? Maybe if we get a three second gap in that, we can stop both of them double stack in that. But yeah, P15, P19, that respect to be start off with, so without further ado, let's head into the race. So our goal is, what was it, top 20 in that, so also I think one of the objectives for the top one, for the top sponsor one, was what, top 18? You're witnessing a new chapter in Formula 1 as 11 teams line up on the grid. But yeah, so that's going to be an absolute challenge in that, so... The composure of Fernando Alonso. Oh yeah, we'll skip through the intro now. This is it. It's gonna be one, on two, grid. three, four, five red lights, and it's gonna and be it's lights, lights out, out and, and away we go. Well not quite, because one thing I do is do go maximum attack, maximum deployment. Also with Behrman and that, so both Behrman and Piastri and that's gonna do the same. So one thing I want to do is just maximum attack. For the first couple of laps and that, uh, just before we run out of ERS and that, I'm going to swap them into. I think it's what he. Oh, avoid. Push a bit harder. Was it? Uh, avoid curbs and that. Oh, yeah, avoid high risk curbs and that. So that will help with prolonging the tyres and that, so. But yeah, anyone on the hearts? No, so. Most of our rolls around us, apart from Maxson and Sergeant, are on the mediums. And as well as Hulkenberg that, so yeah. Our DDP 30 that, that's going to be our goal in that. Be ahead of our rivals, but at the moment, it's going to be pretty difficult. So yeah, Behrman's lost a position, I think. Piastri has stayed the same. Come on, let's overtake. So, oh yeah, with a lot of this, is going to be a, a lot of micromanagement. And with how we go further with the series and that, so what we're going to do is... Simulate the next two of the three races. I would do one race in that. But yeah, so at the moment it is not looking good. 15 and 18 for that. And already there's a two or second gap, whatever, between Piastri and Berman. Yes, Berman now. Obviously he's a rookie in that, so. This is for him in the deep end that. 
And yeah, we're starting to burn up the tire, so I think for now, you know what? Just bring everything back now. Let's bring all the temps down. Because yeah, I do not know what our fuel situation is going to be like. Was tempted to underfuel the coronets, but I didn't know how good our driver was going to be with saving fuel. But yeah, skip ahead a bit. So Piastri is up to P14. And Here's Bottas just overtook Berman in that, so. Yeah, it's going to be a simple DRS overtake. We lost DRS in that to the car ahead, so. Oh, yeah. Berman, <coughs> P20, come on. We need to say P20 now, so not. I'm going to say. Just go for it. Use everything. Just Got shred it. these tires. Overtake Bottas, come on. I did get a replay option for Piastri overtaking Holkenberg. But yeah, there we go. Looking that good. is how it's done. We've got the DRS Nats. Back to One point two Let's watch that overtake once again. So, yep, simple. Move into the inside. That's a nice little move there. Will the boss go for the move? Nope. You can't quite get on the inside or was it turn two, turn three, whatever it is. But yeah, I think you know what? Let's cool everything off now. Cool tyres as much as you can. And yeah, simple set Perfect. for the race. So, the thing I'm going to try to do is extend the stint here, not pit. For both our drivers, so we will set to avoid high risk curbs, Nat. Stay off curbs. Copy. Because, yeah. No energy. Copy. Oh, oopsie. That's quite bad. Bit of a mismatch from there, I forgot with the ERS and that. But yeah, Bearman P17, Piastri P14. And I think, to be honest, that's going to be the most we're going to get with because, yeah, with Piastri and that, we're two seconds behind Ricardo and that. And yeah, Albon is just off the way he is. But yeah, I think at the moment, try to prolong the first sit in that. Then yeah, it gives us options to, you know, be a bit flexible with the future since that. But yeah, let's just skip it ahead and, yeah, see if anything happens. So, yeah, Max overtakes Berman in that. Long as again, any day say with P20 with Berman, I'm happy in that. We're going to develop this driver over the course of the season, so... It's going to be our golden boy, I think. At the moment, yeah, Berman's just struggling. Tire feedback when you can. So tire feedback and that. Nothing at the moment. But yeah, I think if you look at our tires and that, see? Yeah, first of all it was on the sharp decline, and now we're starting to level out a bit, so Yeah, I think this is where the race is gonna to come to us now. And to be honest, I think I think I'll swap in strategies now, you know. Put um piastri on mediums and that and sauce on the end. But yeah, at the moment it's just this fluctuation between P17, P19, that for Berman and that at the moment, so. And yeah, Berman's starting to lose pace in that, so. Actually, what? We can't play safe with Berman. We need to protect our P20 there, so. You can use curves. Oh, yep. Yeah, also, yeah, P20 now. ERS, that's over here. Engine's over here in that. Try to put a bit of a cheeky point down, you know, trying to make up some moves in that. But yeah, at the moment, it's just no prevail now. We're just outside DRS, I think. I know we're inside DRS of Ocon and that. But yeah, pit stops is going to start to come around very quickly. This is what happens. So yeah, let's watch that overtake right, on Ocon. So, corner. into turn one. Die bomb into turn one by Behrman. Yeah, now my son. But yeah, so I think... We're ready in pit lane. Yeah, Behrman, we're going to be the first one to pit, so... Let's say a pit around that 18 now, I think. Go. Yeah, I think lap 18 is going to be the lap for us to pit, so... Yeah, and you want to leave it on aggression that. Sapper is only just on lap 80 now, so box now, box now, so yeah, we're gonna do that and yeah, pay option. So 
And I think, to be honest with you, we've got to be aggressive with Piastri in that, so... You know what? Yep, box. I think that was uh, that better than planned, but... Yep, Piastri is doing the business, so... Yeah, we're just stick out and extend the stint for Piastri Net. But yeah, our first pit stop off season, our first race in pit stop, so let's see how bad our pit stop time. Can we get a 2.3 second pit stop? You know, sub two second pit stop here? My guess is gonna be a big fat no. As long as there's no mistakes, please. No mistakes, no mistakes. Seems decent, a bit slow on that going out, so 2.8 seconds, so. Exit. I think, not to be fair, that's not too bad in that. Yeah, not for the DHL top 10 fastest pit stops, but... Yeah, I think there's many cars are yet to pit, so... Yes, yeah, so wait a while for a bit, but yeah, I think with Piastri... Oh, I'm thinking of doing the overcut now, overcut oh, now. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But yeah, I think, yeah, Piastri in that. It's going to be our man, so... Yeah, that's 20 at the moment. How's those tires doing? Our tires are doing not too bad. Actually, you know, can we extend this to a one-stopper, Nat? I very much doubt it, Nat. But yeah, I'm going P12, Nat. Oh, big shot. Big shot, Nat. Safety car, Caution. safety car. Safety car deployed! Ooh! 120 oh, meters! <laughs> Come on, so. We, we gotta go hard on that. Hard to the end. Can we score a point? Ooh! Piastri and that. We sticked out, so. Yeah, we should be able to pin that, so. Yes, we're in the pits, we're in the pits. Get in there! I'm not quite sure what's happened there. But yeah, crash involving Norris, I think this was, so... This is Sainz going to move on to Norris into the final corner, I think. Oh no! Uh. That was end of Sector 1, and Sainz just fucking locked up and absolutely KO'd Norris. The team back in the garage, that was a tough moment to... Oh, I don't blame you. Sainz, you fucked up there, my boy. I'm sorry, but... And I think, you know what, we're going to do something with Behrman. Yeah, you know what, let's get those hearts on. Yes, I wish we was a bit more aggressive with Behrman than that, but... Yeah, this race has absolutely conch. Oh yeah, this race has certainly come something, at least for us, so... But yeah, come on. Let's go. 2.8 seconds for Piastri in that. Behrman's second pit stop in that, so... I know we're going to be working our crew very quickly in that. Currently P14. But yeah, P14 in that at the moment. Yeah, pit stop in that. There we go, hard tires on. Bit of a zoo stop. Ooh. Yeah, just a shy under 3 seconds, but... Man, what a race this has turned out, so... Actually, what? Well, yeah, both Norris and Slings is out, so that's guaranteed P20 for us, so... Copy. But yeah, hard to the end. Can we make this work, Nat? But yeah, I think, you know what? Let's skip until the safety car restarts, so... So, right, we've just got the order. Safety car in this lap, so... Yeah, we got a lot of fuel, Nat. Hard to Nat. Yeah, it looks like we still need to make another stop on that, I think, but this is going to be a very good way to kick off on that, this last half of the race, almost. But yeah, for now, ERS on go neutral. They'll come to us. But yeah, once we kick straight on that, once cars start going, that's when we'll go, so... Any moment now. And I think we'll say deploy here. Nope. Come on, let's, let's go. 14th and 18th. Can we improve from this? Come on. Oh, come on, Piastri. Come on. Temperatures are good. Yeah. 
think, yeah, it's just the extra fuel there that's holding us back at the moment. Come on, let's burn. Okay, we'll burn too much ERS in that, so. Yeah, engine's starting to overheat a little bit in that, so. But yeah, I think to be honest, 14th and 18th is going to be as it is for us at the moment. Yeah, losing track off to the Hassas and that, so you not even know Hassas are rivals at the moment. There are aim that rivals and that, but better than that. It's lost out to Joe, I think he just overtook him that. But yeah, it's going to be a free wide battle in that. Oh, luckily that Alpine, I think it's like Gasly, I think, or Ocon. But yeah, so, yeah, in sector two and that. But yeah, so, I think Berman and that. I think, to be honest, we're doing good. I oh, know. Oh shit. That's why. I fucking left it on high risk curbs and that. Or avoid high risk curbs and that, so. Watch for debris. Oh. What's that? What's that? Now we'll do with us, Ocon. Ocon is that just an overtake or is that an impact? Or both? Overtake, yep, simple overtaking that. There's a yellow flag now. Oh, another crash involving multiple cars. So this is Albon and I think that's Hulkenberg, I think. Ah, just, yeah. Albon going a bit deep in there. Oh no, Magnus, so not Hulkenberg, sorry. So yeah, once again, no. Uh, was it safety car and that? But yeah, now I've got a voice high risk curves off. Maybe, just maybe we'll be able to make something with this, so I think for now it's gonna leave just on aggression, aggressive, whatever it is, yeah, aggressive driving. Piastri is up to P11, get her son. Let's take a look Completely at the forgot about that, so now there's the car double the overtake <laughs> double overtake into turn one. I'm <laughs> sorry I'm losing my voice really here, that's move up the field. <clears throat> but yeah, a Double overtake on the half drivers. Get in there, Piastri. Nine seconds off points. 8.6 or 9.4. Oh, yeah, I think to be honest, this is going to be the limit for us. It was good, wasn't it? That's in that. Just bare man, yeah, again. Not able to look after his tires and that. Big shot. Oh, big shot and that. Is that involving us? Please, good. no. Oh no, that is his Rashore and one of the RB drivers. Oh yes, yeah, clipped away and have a shore gone for a spin. Into the gravel trap, I think he's able to get back on track. Yes he is, so that is the car ahead of us. Richard Rashore is yeah, in P11. Can we stretch this to the end? Sea fuel, and I think with Piastri, you know what? Just increased Lyco. Always yeah. defend. Can we get our first point? Oscar, we're hold position. Oh, this is gonna be oh, ever so tantalizing. And yeah, again, just Piastri is just burning those tires. Oh, yeah, Barber, sorry, not Piastri. That Barber's burning tires. Piastri is just able to keep him in the perfect temperature in that. Tire wear now is looking okay. It's going to be really second hand at the end. Gasly in front. And Berman overtakes Joe Nat for what's that P13? Now this was at turn three. They decide to give it a go. Oh yeah, two apologies missing these overtakes and that. But yeah, get our side. Come on. That puts them in. All right, okay, it was completely the wrong POV to have there. I think personally, but. Yeah, now we need safe fuel now. I've got 18 laps left to save fuel. And I think we're gonna have to save fuel a little bit with Piastri in that. Lift off end of straight. Yep. No, we ain't gonna be able to catch Paris just yet in that. But I think you know what it's gonna be it's lift and coast, lift and coast. We could do a bit of lift and coast. Copy. I am just looking at 4.3, 4.1 seconds. Can we secure our first point? 3.6, 3.3. It's getting very close. 
But yeah, any chance I'll catch a P9? Oh, no. Nope. Oh, I see that. I see that. I'm going to risk it. 2.9, 2 2.8, 2.6, 2.5, 4, 3. I think we're going to lose out here. I think Terrace is going to give way at the end. And there comes Huff for sure, Nat. Just absolutely on the charge, Nat. After that little incident, Nat. Oh, P9 was so optimal, Nat, 15 laps ago. And yeah, we'll have to save these tires quite a bit. And yeah, over saved her a little bit with Behrman and that. But yeah, it's going to be down here, but it's going to be definitely down the main straight now, I think, to be honest. So yeah, there we go, for sure, Nat. For sure, versus Fiastri. The current versus Xbox Town drivers, Nat. I think we've got a helicopter cam, so yeah, there we go. For sure, can you make a dive? Nope. Piastri is defended all with his, all this mighty Nat, but... Good job. Let's set deploy. Deploy that ERS. Well, I think he uh, may have cut off a bit too soon that, but no. There we go. Piastri is able to defend for another day now. And to be honest, P10 is still possible, Nat. P10 is still very much possible, but I am going for P9 here. Bear than that. Oh, yeah, sort of got a bit, so... Burn his tires quite a bit here, and to be honest, if he pits, we're going to be dead last, so... I think... You know what? Avoid high-risk curves, you. Bearman, sorry. <laughs> we'll forget about you for the moment, whilst we're focused on Piastri and that, so... Oh, no, access to deploy too much ERS and that, so... Oh no, Virgil for sure is adamant to overtake us. Oscar, how's the tyre? Yeah, yeah, gas is overtaking us. Okay, we don't okay. care. Oh, I'm caring about is this battle between Piastri and Richard for sure. As I mentioned, current McLaren driver versus the one that got fired or was pulled out and fancy a different opportunity and a brand new team for P1 podcast with Matt and Tommy. But oh, come on, let's get in there. Two tenths. <laughs> oh, God. Good job. Bottas in front. Oh, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care at the moment. No, no, no. Just don't deploy all the RS. Oh, I think I may have fucked this up a bit in that because, yeah, you got Russ on that catcher now. Oh, can we defend for ten more laps? I very much doubt it. I very much doubt we could defend this. Snap hand. To be honest, I think the Nebel is coming in that, so. Oh. I'm sure what's it? Could be at P8, potentially. Oh, no, yeah, we just lost out. Oh, dang it. Skipped ahead a bit too much there. Please get us a replay of that. Still plenty of opportunities. Yeah, Piastri lost two positions. Come on, let's now see it. But yeah, it's yeah, going to be a simple DRS slip stream confess that. Of course, the yeah, camera is good. Maybe we're on the hell we can. But yeah, we'll just get swapped by. To be honest, top four, we're in Formula B, Formula C at the moment. We've been putting up a fight with Formula A drivers at the moment, so. Yeah, I'm not disappointed. And yet, yeah, we've still got six seconds to boss us and that, so. Good job. To be Car fair, is points are still on the card and that, so... You know what, let's just skip ahead a bit until we lose the arrest and that. Keep going. Car behind is Ocon. The gap behind 1.9. And yeah, I think, to be honest, with... Bearing in that, that's gonna be, it's going to be a bit of a hard race for us, I think. Oh no, we overtake for sure in that. This battle is not over yet. It was a full dispatch for for sure that was over. No, there we go with the overtaking that. And how's the tire situation looking at the moment? We're on the hard snap. For sure is on softs. So to be honest, our tires should out outperform his towards the end. 
It's going to be Phoenix, <coughs> Phoenix Tires absolutely screaming in that. There's still opportunities here. Come on, so... Oh, no, we're outside DRS Nat, and here comes Ricardo, along with Alonso. Oh, God. Come on, P8. Can we get P8? P7? Honestly, I do not know what we can get at the moment, but our tyres is going to be absolutely blistering at the end. And, yeah, that was fresh softs and that, so... You know what? I'm not too disappointed. Richard Shore is back in the pits with, what, seven laps to go? I'm not sure about that oh, and that. Looks like a pit stop issue. Gassy's pit stop issues and that. Wait, yeah, can we get P9, P10? We're apps defending like a stag rat with Snuda now. Into turn one, Snuda's gonna yeah, he's gonna dive in and Snuda's got the fresh tires. Yeah, fresh softs and that, so we'll was only in there one at. But yeah, so I think P10. Yes, Richard for sure can get up through very quickly for the pack. I think P10 is going to be ours. Oh, uh, no, what? Scrap that. Just get a couple laps to go, Nat. Bottas close behind. And I think... Oh, what do we do? He's got absolute fresh soft tyres now. So we've okay. got second hand soft tyres. But, Five yeah. Laps, oh, yeah, he's setting fast as that. Yeah, he's going to go for the move in that. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it was going to be our first points of the season, but yeah, you know what? Tires just gave out a couple laps too early in that eventually, so. Bearman in that, P17 in that, decent job for you, bud, in that. And what? Well, I'm just having to just drain Let's everything. Let's coast to keep the temps. Nope, can't catch half uh, of the shore in that. Pack is low. Ah, yeah, two ones, I think, what were that done yet with Behrman? No, not quite there yet. But, yeah, P11. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 P12, potentially, here. Fight with Hulkenberg and that. Come on, come on. How's the tires looking at that? Got better tires than us. Let's just deploy ERS. Bring a bit of extra fuel in that. I was going to suggest we choose a bit oh, of no. post. Oh, went too much with for with, with sure on that. That opportunity for P10. I've actually gone and oofed it. You're going to be okay. Max oh, God. Yeah, you know what? Skip ahead. P12, P18. You know what? I'm happy for that. For our first race ever, and that's not too bad. So let's check the flags. Yeah, there we go. P11. Oh no. Oh. What the fuck did I just do? Oh, don't tell me I had on too much fuel, Nat. Oh, fuck. So I'm an idiot sandwich. <laughs> oh, just. Oh. That's it. I'm done. Oh, I'm absolutely done, Nat. So, yeah, Rich for sure, that P10. On his debut, Nat. P16, P18, so you know what? I'm happy with that. But yeah, so no points for us because structures and that we are absolutely in P10 at the moment, so not doing too well for the P1 aim that. Losing out uh, that stupid mistake with Piastri at the end. Oh god. No, not even the top 10 for the fastest pit stops, so 2.8 was our fastest, so. But yeah, what is exciting race that was? So yeah, it was your 15 grand regardless of that, so that is nothing to sift at. And yeah, so I think next time, I think that's where we're going to leave it here for this episode Nat. So yeah, next time, we'll go into, what was it, I think Jed and that. So yeah, we'll get everything done with Jed and that. Also, we should have some car parts ready to be developed in the next episode Nat, because we're going to be skipping ahead in that. But yeah, so we've got some little business to take off, so yeah. Oh, drive development that. And that's gonna be important that so go to drivers and that, so Bearman, so it's pretty much just everything's yeah, over overtaking. 
overtaken and but to be honest I think smoothness and adaptability in that gets a long one pace up there. That'll be good in that. You know what, let's upgrade the area room of that a bit. Tour center out, speaking income and team market market uh, market ability in that, so I think you know what, let's go with that, so also, you have to train for a pit crew in that, so at the moment, apologies there for any static noise, I was hearing some feed rear feedback in my headset and that, so I'm not sure how long that's been going with recording that, hopefully in editing that doesn't affect it too much in that, but yeah, anyway, so, scheduled, preset in that, so, 2.69 seconds. Pit stop errors in that, so we can get down. Or pit stop time, more car building. I think car building is what? Repairing the car in that during the race, so I think you know what? I'm gonna set it to gym train, so I may want to get our pit stop and that down quite a bit. But yeah, I think we'll mix out with a bit of not rest. Yeah, pit stop drills and all that. So yeah, made some very minor changes. So yeah, chance of pit mistakes in that, 13%, 13%. Goes up to 34%, and hopefully that is after the race that I'll Australia in that. And then yeah, bit of mixture of, a little bit of car building I left in there in that, but overall, looking good in that. So that is what I'm looking forward to. So let's confirm those changes. And yeah, actually one thing I didn't check, first of all, was our goal now for the season, so a revered team that, well, you need to be a fair P1 that, a very well-known podcast that, it's best F1 podcast on YouTube that, once upon a time it used to be WTF1, but after some corporate whatever BS that, but yeah, so, worst car that, and season objective, sixth on... Oh god, I think we have set ourselves up for Oh this is gonna be fun that so sixth in the instructors and that as a race performance and that was disappointing to be fair we did DNF so and yet ah wow constructors champion in five years Okay we've got the facilities now we've got fifty one mil that but we need to develop the car in that, and to be honest, that's all down to ATRP in that, so... Actually, you know what? Let's do that now before we end the episode, so... A pad and all that, ATRP here is lovely jubbly. Car part development, so we can't do anything until our designs are done in... Mainly 4 to 5 days, or 12 days for that front wing upgrade, so... Oh yeah, it's going to be all after Jeddah, but yeah, I think for now, <laughs> yeah. What do you think about where we stand at the moment? So, this is going to be a long series ahead. I know this is a bit of a longer episode than planned, but down the road, yeah, we'll simulate Jeddah and that, race in Australia or something, and then yeah, that's what I think we'll do in that. So, Jeddah, Melbourne, and Suzuka and that, so yeah. I think, yeah, we'll race in Melbourne, skip Suzuka, and then, yeah, maybe race at China, skip Miami and Imla or whatever. But yeah, I'll try to skip just the races I know that's going to be a bit dull at, or just in general, need to make progress in that, because there's going to be a lot of progress needed here. So, anyways, that's where I leave it today, as always. Hopefully you've enjoyed something a bit new for this channel, and I know you should do forms and stuff and that. Forms and stuff will be returned very soon now, but I thought do some F1 stuff, the F1 manager stuff on the side of that. But anyways, hope you enjoyed our first episode here with P1 Extreme Racing. As always, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.